Good evening and welcome to the Golden Path of the Runes. I'm your host, Kathy Lewis, and this is episode number 61. And, oh good, I thought I disappeared there for a second. And I'm just going to move your comments up to the top so I can see who's logging in. And I hope everyone's doing well this evening. We just had a beautiful full moon last night, and I did a full moon blessing. Help us to release and let go of the old and make room for the new and wonderful energies coming in. Um, I also just did a 8-8 portal um, on Monday, a um, meditation. If you guys want to check that out, it's still on my Facebook page, but it's also on my YouTube page, which is The Golden Pathways. Hi Gail, How's, how are you tonight my dear? And tonight we are going to talk about our third eye and we're going to talk about the full moon. We're just going to do some releasing that I have some um, bay leaves with a couple of things that we would like to release. Um, I would always like to say please like and share, tell your friends. Hi Crystal, hi Jamie, hi Valkyrie. Wow, you guys are all popping on so quick tonight. It's so wonderful to see you. I must admit I'm doing much, much better with my health. Hi, Steph. I just, I've made it a little dark in here tonight, so. Just having a little bit. Happy full moon is right. Let's make sure I got everybody. Hang on. Did I get Stacy? No. Got you now, Stacy. Got Steph, got Chloe, got Crystal, got Jamie, got Gail. All right. I got Belinda, Faye, Sherry. Got seven, eight. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you. Yes, I'm feeling better. Um, I was having like a lot of breathing problems. It was not a very pleasant experience. But, you know, I keep telling them, I don't need to understand all the sicknesses to be able to heal, please. Um, hi, Alicia. Thank you. All right. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and call in the quarters. Let's call to the north and the earth and that beautiful energy of Mother Earth and the buffalo and the white buffalo mother. We're going to call her into our circle tonight. And that strength, stability, and positivity and nourishing and nourishment from Mother Earth and all that protection that we can bring and gather up, um, the most powerful protection we can learn and grow from. Thank you, stars. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Alicia. All right, guys, so let's go ahead, and that will be our physical part of our um, energy. And we're going to go to the east in the air and the beautiful eagle energy and the color yellow and the beautiful uh, Archangel. I didn't mention Archangel Uriel of the north, and we're going to bring in the Archangel Raphael of the east in the air and beautiful Hecate. And I keep getting all these little flashes on my screen. Thank you, Cat. Me too. And I don't have Cat down. Man, I am I am missing it tonight. Yes, I'm glad I'm feeling better too. And let's call in the energy of seeing the big picture, of understanding uh, the bigger things that are going on. Thank you, Crystal and just helping us to feel comforted and strengthened and uh, more in tune with the divine feminine flow. Let's go to the south in the fire and the beautiful wolf energy and we're going to call in Archangel Michael and the power and strength. Um, the east is all about our spirituality and our soul and the south is all about our mental um, our mentality and our men mental state and we're bringing in that power and strength and creativity and beauty. And let's go to the west in the water and call in the Archangel Gabriel for the heal, uh, for uh, information and messages. And the bear energy 
and I just want to let you guys know I fell asleep about 10 minutes ago so I'm just a little bit out of it I'm sorry <laughs> I'm still a little bit in my theta state so I know I channel this whole thing every time but I'm just a little bit behind the the uh, eight ball here sorry for that uh, and we're gonna call in that all that healing energy of the beautiful water energy and the wagon wheel of the water just pouring over us and that magical ocean energy and there's our beautiful circle and within it our collective energies feel amazing and wonderful and beautiful and we all feel um, connected and loved and appreciated and thank you all for coming here in the Golden Path of the Runes. It's episode 61, believe it or not. And I'm trying to incorporate different things every time I do my show. Um, I do obviously cycle through the chakras and focus on a different chakra every, every time. Um, tonight I'm going to go ahead and read with my hematite runes instead of my Aya Horus runes, which is, brings a different energy also. And I'm going to do a singing bowl here. Um, the singing bowl has an amazing therapeutic, energetic um, use. Oh, of course. I'm not sure what RSV is, my dear. But we will definitely send prayers for your nine-month-old granddaughter for Faye. I'm not sure what RSV is, but it doesn't matter. We'll send her healing energy, love, strength, beauty. Clear out her chakras, send her healing, call the healing angels in. Sorry to hear that, my dear. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's ground tonight. Um, let's go ahead and visualize those beautiful roots just coming out of the bottom of our feet and heading straight down, down through all those layers of Mother Earth all that beautiful um, healing energy from the trees and the plants and all the beautiful flowers and all the crystals that live within there we're going to go the whole way down to the crystalline center beautiful mother earth to the 13th chakra which we share with her and we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and let's have a little seat down there tonight i, I know i did this the other night on my 88 portal and I feel like we really need some grounding energy. Um, there's lots of high vibe energies going on and coming in and downloads and light codes and all of these things that we're receiving. We need to make sure that we stay in touch and in tap with the beautiful Mother Earth and that divine feminine. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's a respiratory problem. We'll go ahead and let's take in a nice deep breath, a cleansing breath for beautiful Faye's little granddaughter. Bring in that healing energy of Mother Earth. Call the divine down and bring the dance of the beautiful masculine and feminine to dance within us and to dance within her. And to allow that. I'm going to go ahead and put some energetic um, acupuncture it does not hurt and they will dissolve as they are um, as they need to and I'm going to just go ahead and put some energetic acupuncture right here on her feel that energy allow her to receive that amazing healing energy And with the beauty and love of Mother Earth to recoup and clear out and I can't I don't know why I can't think of the word but it's to regroup and change that energy and transmute that energy of her thank you transmute the energy for her of healing and love from that tight respiratory problem And as we ground and feel the energy of Mother Earth in our own heart chakras, feel love and strength, feel connection, feel um, nourished and nourishment and stability and connection. 
Let's go ahead and bring that energy right up, that beautiful pink energy, which I know Valkyrie just loves. And bring that right up through the bottom of our feet. And you can feel that energy just coming in the bottom of your feet and just coming up through the muscles of your legs, through all your bones and muscles and all that uh, circulatory system and the whole way up into our root chakra. And we're going to go ahead and open that beautiful root chakra and that beautiful red lotus flower. And let's go ahead and bring some more of this single energy in. Bring us healing, bring us love. Feel that red energy, feel that connection with Mother Earth, feel that major healing, feel that stability and strength, feel those, the number four surrounding it and the four um, elements, the four directions, the four quarters, the stability and strength of our beautiful circle that we just brought in, that we are inside. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Feel that strength and stability. And this um, chakra, the root chakra, is formed at a very young age. I've heard different ages, but it starts around birth. And I've heard anywhere till seven years old. But it's all about feeling stability and strength and connection. And feeling your knowing of who you are and your place within the family structure, within... Uh, universe and I know that sounds like a big thing for a little person yes those pink rose petals exactly let's go ahead and uh, send those beautiful pink rose petals right out to that beautiful little angel of phase just fill her whole body up and as we swirl away and take any negative energies away from each one of us and fill our heart space and all inside of us with those beautiful pink rose petals. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and bring that energy up right into our sacral chakra. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put on our root chakra. We're going to put need, the rune of meeting all of our needs. And Thayu, the rune of the abundance of Mother Earth and connecting into that abundance. Because we are all worthy and worth having that abundance in our lives and we are connecting in with that all right let's go ahead and bring that up to our sacral chakra and we're going to put steer tear the sky god the rune and we're going to open up that beautiful orange uh, lotus flower and allow ourselves to feel that orange energy of creativity and strength and passion and sensuality and sexuality and loving and caring for ourselves and connecting in with that beautiful energy that expansive energy of the orange field there feel that amazing power strength and creativity of the cauldron of the creatrix of how we manifest in our lives now let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our solar plexus and we're going to open up that beautiful yellow lotus flower. And that's the energy of Eel the Elk. And we're going to feel that um, confidence and strength and allow ourselves to stand tall and to stand in our power and feel all that amazing energy. And take a drink here. Okay, and let's go ahead and visualize that beautiful golden orb. Remember our protection energy. I'm very, very important to protect our energy. As our frequency rises, we are definitely out there and being seen and stepping into the light, but also being resisted by the forces that don't want our frequency to rise. They like keeping us in fear, shame, guilt, and embarrassment. They like keeping us down. So we have to protect our energy, bring that golden, beautiful orb out, and surround all your meridians, all your auric field, all your energy. And let's just coat that beautiful golden shield of the Divine Masculine 
with a golden, um, I'm sorry, with a silver metallic shield of the Divine Feminine on the outside. And we're going to put Thor's as Thor's runes on the, each of the quarters, north, south, east, and west, and bring us protection. And feel the energy of hanging out in this beautiful yellow space of protection and love, of strength and confidence, of believing and knowing in ourselves. Feels really fantastic, doesn't it? And this is a great place. If you are guys are interested in mediumship, I do mediumship. Um, it's a great place to hang out, to get in contact with spirits. Um, and also a good place to have a protection shield around you. All right, so let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our heart chakra. Open up that beautiful green lotus flower of expansive on this astral plane. We're going to go ahead and call in the energies of one Joe. And I don't know if I talked about my cookies tonight or not, but here's one Joe, the heart chakra cookies. These are rune infused, magical kitchen witch cookies, CBD oil, and I infuse them with the runes and magic. And so we'll bring that power of one Joe right into our heart space. And we're going to go ahead and put Gifu, the gift. And we're going to go ahead and feel the expansiveness of the astral plane. It's amazingly powerful energy. And allow yourself just to feel that beautiful green energy of expansiveness, of the heart space, of how we live in connection with our higher chakras and our lower chakras. Thank you, Jamie. I'm so glad you guys love my cookies. I love my cookies. Um, they're amazing. I eat them. I eat one at least every day. And so I encourage you guys, if you're interested at all, you know, try them. They're excellent. Thank you, Jamie. I'm so glad you guys love them. And let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our throat chakra to help us to speak our truth to understand and discern our truth. And we're gonna put the rune of Answas, which is all about Odin, and all about the mouth, and all about understanding, and all about receiving messages. Feels amazing, feel that beautiful, white, uh, magical ocean energy, just clearing out any stuck energies there. And let's go ahead and come right up into our third eye, and we're gonna put Lagaz, the rune of intuition and water. And we're gonna put that beautiful figure eight to bring co a co cohesiveness to all the functions in our body, to all our thought processes, to all our endocrine, uh, our respiratory, our um, circulatory system, our digestive systems, all the systems in our body in beautiful harmony feel that amazing energy and allow us to bring that energy right up um, open up that third eye chakra with the beautiful blue lotus flower i'm sorry the blurple lotus flower indigo and i don't think i opened up our throat chakra let's open that beautiful lotus blue lotus flower there and we're going to go ahead right up to our um good thank you cat she just ate one too they're amazing let's open up our uh, beautiful um, violet colored. This is our vertical chakra that connects us in with the divine. And it's our crown chakra. And we're gonna put Daeg, the dawn of the new day, and Ing, the um, communication with the divine, and connect in with the divine. And let's go ahead and just send our energy up, 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 straight into through all of the layers of all the bright white light and connecting with it all that the source of all that is and let's just take a moment there and sit and connect our heart chakra in and feel that amazing energy and connection with the divine and allow ourselves to drink in that it's a beautiful golden energy feels amazing and feel tapped in take a couple nice deep breaths we're going to go ahead and do the the pink rose petals. We're going to remove any energies that are stuck and bring in those beautiful pink rose petals that just go through all of our chakras. 
feel that beautiful softness, the pink love and beauty of the Divine Feminine, and tapped in with the beautiful Divine Masculine, and allow ourselves to feel connected. And let's bring that energy right down to our, our higher self. And let's sit a moment with our higher self and thank you for bringing in all of the information and knowledge, all the help and assistance that we need, and always being there and connecting with us when we need you, allowing us to understand our soul's path. And bring that energy right down to our soul star chakra where it's all about letting go. Okay, all right, Sherry, we'll see you later. I'll go ahead and do your reading. And go ahead and um, let go and release and feel the connection with the divine. And let's bring that energy right down through all of our chakras, that beautiful golden divine masculine energy and feel it just come down like a beautiful corkscrew through all of our chakras and that beautiful pink energy come up through all our chakras the dance of the divine masculine and feminine and we feel connected and loved just feel amazing clear out all that stuck energies that we have and within our beautiful golden globe within our beautiful circle we are protected and loved we're going to talk just a minute about our uh, third eye chakra we're going to put that lag as right there that's all about intuition and it's all about water and fluidity and the divine feminine and the smell we're going to look at tonight is frankincense so let's sniff some frankincense that feels totally amazing. And I'm going to spray some of my frankincense and sage and moon water and crystal spray to clear out any stuck energies. And let's go ahead and play our singing bowl for all of our chakras. The root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, the crown chakra, the soul star chakra, and we call to our higher self to come down and join in our beautiful body and stay in that high vibration and imagine always feeling that connection. And we're just going to connect in and keep that amazing energy there and release any stuck energies in our meridians and our energetic fields with those beautiful rose petals just clearing everything out all right and we talked about our third eye and lagaz and i didn't talk about the crystal because tonight i'm using silver as our energy so beautiful silver for our third eye and feel the energy of silver just connecting us in with that and thank you for coming tonight i'm kathy lewis from the golden pathways this is the golden path of the runes and it's all about rune connections i did put a um, advertisement up tonight for my rune chakra chests um, i know a couple of you guys have them and they have a crystal in each drawer. There's 24 drawers and there's 24 runes. And I infuse the crystals with the rune energy. So if you guys are interested, it's $125. I'm doing free shipping right now. So just uh, hit the button or PM me and we'll talk about that. Okay, I feel like I'm falling a little bit behind here. Just a little bit out of it tonight too relaxed and I don't think that's a I don't think that's a real thing do you I really don't think too relaxed is a thing so we're gonna go ahead and do our full moon release here's our fear say goodbye no more fear for us Woo! that one really went up <laughs> if you guys can see this Oof. it was like a big flame coming out uh, isolation. That's not isolation. 
Nope. This one is imposter syndrome. Feeling like you're an imposter. Feeling like you're not who you know you are. Release that. You are exactly who you know you are. Let's see what this one says. I have a hard time seeing them in here. This is, uh, we did fear, we did, I, this one's guilt. Remove any guilt from our lives. There's nothing to feel guilty about. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. This one, shame. No more shame in our game. There's no shame in our game. And lastly, is guilt. Say goodbye to guilt. So we have released fear and isolation and guilt and imposter syndrome. And I just want you guys to see, there they go. Say goodbye. Now we have made plenty of room now for all the good energies to come in. For everything we want to come in. For unconditional love and healing and blessings. And we're just getting rid of all of those things. No longer part of us. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing some room pulls for you guys. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm so glad to see you guys. I always enjoy our time together. Um, I am going to start doing some uh, meditations, and so I may be only doing like three shows a month and do a meditation for the full moon. Um, this month I did uh, the 88 portal. Please check it out on my YouTube. Right, no such thing as too relaxed. Exactly. All right, Gail, let's clear out any negative energy, hold any negative influences, bring it in our little broom, Hilda's broom, my beautiful little cookie maker who helps me. She allows us to use her broom. And I am just going to mention once my little adorable puppy that passed away this week. I am not going to talk about it because I'm very upset, obviously. And I just want to thank all the well wishes and warm thoughts that you guys sent me. Truly appreciate it. All right, lovely gal. We got radio. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it's radio and radio is all about the journey so for you my dear right now you've done a lot of hard work you've changed and grown and there's so many things that you've addressed and looked at and become truthful with yourself and released so this for you this week is all talking about a journey allow yourself to take a little R&R &R trip or relaxation um, just something fun for you whether it's even just time alone, um, going out on your porch and having a cup of tea and drink and reading a really good book or getting in your car and going for a ride. It can be an overnight trip. It can be a day trip. Whatever it is that you feel that you need, that you know and understand, is all about having some fun and having some relaxation and really d d um, diving into that energy of releasing and letting go of stress, letting go of the everyday, letting go of anything that's bothering you, stepping away, and I hate to say to vacate your life, but just to give yourself a break, just a relaxation, and it's all about fun. It's not about reflection or anything like that. It's just about having some fun and allowing yourself to have that work-play balance, you know, give yourself some time to play and have some fun. All right, Miss Beautiful Jamie, you guys let me know how these resonate with you tonight. See what's going on with Jamie tonight. We're gonna remove any negative energies, halt any negative influences, and we're gonna call in the amazing energies of the runes. Please bring healing and knowledge to Beautiful Jamie. And what does she need to hear tonight? And in my um, beautiful music in the background. There's wolves howling. It just sounds so amazing. And we bring up Awful, which is the rune of the day today. And Awful is all about inheritance. And so I feel like there's an embracing you need to do with your inheritance. 
It's all about um, understanding and recognizing the actual gifts and blessings you have been given down through the generations. And there is a couple of peeps in your um, genetic line there that have really brought you some amazing gifts and talents. And it's time for you to accept and tap into them and allow yourself to feel that amazing energy. I know we're all about right now releasing lack and fear and all of those other things from our lives. But for you right now, I want you to go ahead and look at the good things that are coming in from your um, genetic line, from your DNA, and embrace and allow yourself to feel that amazing energy of love and connection and to um, take the things that you want Yes, you do. Today was a hard day. There's been a lot of intensive energies, and I'm glad you're recognizing that you do need to take a break. It's not about like, oh, you need to take this big, huge inventory of what's going on. Just relax. Just give yourself a little time off. Um, it's, it's not always work, work, work. You know, you got to have a little fun. And Jamie, allow yourself to enjoy this energy, and it's being fun for you, too of what is in your DNA and what's really good and what you really want to embrace and keep and what you want to grow and allow it to become your own. And you can release all those things that we talked about and but allow yourself to bring in that intelligence, that insightfulness, that intuition, um, that creativity, all those beautiful things that were handed down to you in your genetic pool. Let me know how that resonates with you. This beautiful crystal. So glad to see you tonight. Love seeing all of you. Thank you for being here on the Golden Path of the Runes. Episode 61. Please like and share. Tell your friends. I love the energies in here. I love our beautiful circle. All of you are contributing to this collective energy. Remove any negative energy, hold any negative influences, and bring a beautiful message to Crystal tonight. I kind of wrote you guys down out of order. She's number three, but we know how that works. It's just exactly as it should be, my dears. And beautiful Crystal, what do we have for you? We have Eel, the Elk, the power symbol. I don't know how well you guys can see these. Um... But it's all about, let's put eel right on your solar plexus and step into your power. Call all your energy back to you, no matter where it's off to. And allow your higher self to help you to step into that power. And feel that amazing elk energy. And allow yourself to... Um, thank you. I'm so glad, Jamie. You're amazing. You are our amazing energy. A, a beautiful dawn. Just allow yourself to step into that powerful energy. Allow that elk. And You know, have you ever seen an elk? They're just so majestic and beautiful and tall and confident. And they just are amazing. And that's what you are. Allow yourself to step into that energy. That beautiful yellow confidence that place and where your heart chakra is just open to receive and bringing in all that amazing divine energy and allow yourself to step into that energy of truth, of power, of love for yourself. And I just, I can just feel it surrounding you. We need the singing bowl. Singing bowl. Feel that confidence and strength. Clear out any stuck energy. Bring in that protection. Feel that love and support of your spirits and guides, ascended masters, angels, and archangels. Call to them. They're there to help you. Ask for help. It doesn't mean that you're failing to ask for help. It doesn't mean that you're not doing enough. It means that you recognize who you are and you recognize the ability to um, understand that you can ask for the assistance. And once you ask, you will recognize 
all the things that are going on behind the scenes for you. It's amazing. Like, uh, and it'll just start being like a domino effect. You'll be like, wow, now that's happening. Wow, now that's happening. Wow, now that's happening. Because you asked. So go ahead, move forward. Uh, let me know how that resonates with you. Beautiful Valkyrie. Remove any negative energies, hold any negative influences, and bring victory into the heart space, into your throat, into your soul. Allow you to find. Uh oh, you guys can't see me. Olivia can see me. Olivia, honey, I think uh, you're too late to get a reading. But um, Stacy's video quit. And I don't think, is anyone else having a problem? Let's call in the runes for Valkyrie. All right, thank you, Jamie. Everybody's got different wacky internet, you know, like you just never know what's going on. Okay, and we got he was, and this is all about the two horses. Okay, good. Jane, uh, Stacy's back. And he was is all about the two horses, and this is just what I was just talking about. Recognizing your strengths and allowing yourself to ask for help. Because you are the powerful horse who has the energetics. Hi, Belinda. Oh, good. You can see me, too. Good. Okay. Um, good, good. So go ahead and allow yourself to step into your power. Recognize your energies. All the gifts and beautiful things that you have going on for yourself. And allow yourself to ask for help to bring those two horses heading in the same direction. And there's Stacy's back right when we're talking about the horses. And so allow yourself to feel that energy. Allow yourself to step into your power. And allow yourself to ask for help. Spiritual help, emotional help, physical help, mental help, whatever it is. Allow yourself to ask for help and to feel that support and energy of the two like minds heading in the same direction. It doesn't have to be a lifetime commitment. It can be just for today, I need help with this, and that's how we work. We need to know when to ask and who to ask, when to ask and who to ask. So I'm bringing that energy in for you. I'm putting that right on your third eye so you can help to get focus and discernment on when to ask and who to ask and allow that energy to come in. It feels really good, really super good uh, horse energy, and that that horse energy is so exponential. When those two horses pull in the same direction, you can't stop it. It's powerful, exponential energy. So allow your energy to be um, hooked up and, and helped by someone else. All right, let's see what's going on with beautiful Chloe. We know how that resonates with you, Valkyrie. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, it is, did I even say what day it was? August 12th, Friday. I don't even know if I did. <laughs> I'm just so chilled out, and I just love it. Thank you guys all for being here. Check out my Golden Pathways. Please check out my Blessed Biscuits. Amazing energies. Um, I have some powerful uh, writings I've been putting on my page. And check out my 8-8 portal. Remove any negative energies, hold any negative influences, and bring beautiful energy to Chloe tonight. See what the runes are saying for her. And beautiful Chloe is getting one Joe. The rune of joy. We're going to put that right on your heart chakra. And we're going to ask that you stay in this moment, in this very space, Call all your energy back to right here and now and allow the mindfulness within yourself to allow you to experience joy in situations. Um, understand that happiness and joy are not in another place but exactly where you are. And feeling, it's like smelling the roses as you're walking on the path. 
and feeling that beautiful um, dirt under your feet as you're walking along and hearing the birds singing and just feeling all that wonderful um, good <laughs> and feeling all that wonderful energies that uh, are right in the here and now in this beautiful space in this beautiful energy in this beautiful heart space and feel that expansive heart energy that beautiful green energy of your heart and allow it to just expand out and it's, we're holding space for healing and love we're holding space for growth we're holding space so we can all grow and move and live in that 5D energy of unconditional love and feel that expansive green energy just filling the whole room, filling the whole city, filling the whole state, filling the whole country, filling the whole world, filling the whole universe, just allowing yourself to be so expansive that everything good can come into your arena. Everything good is within you. Everything good is right here and now. So allow yourself to feel that amazing energy of joy. Let me know how that resonates with you. Beautiful Chloe. And here we go with Steph. Hi, beautiful Steph. Oh, wonderful. Good. Crystal's back too, so she was having a problem too. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot fix what FB or whatever is going on but it is the other side of the full moon so we are taking that energy in remove any negative energies hold any negative influences and bring victory over any negative energies and there we go for stuff bring in the truth the reading the love all right let's see what's going on beautiful stuff and she gets man as the rune of mankind. I can hold it up. There it is. And it's M, mankind. Connection with others, being able to um, communicate, releasing those that are no longer um, in your frequency or in your energy and allowing yourself to communicate clearly and purely so you're attracting the proper people into your tribe, bringing in that healing energy, bringing in love. I'm going to put this right on your heart chakra and right on your throat chakra to help you to communicate clearly and concisely and release and let go of energies that are no longer serving you and allowing yourself to have the discernment and connection um, it's right, it's, it's a powerful. Mankind is very important right now because we are all so, so connected. So connected. And so being able to connect with and communicate with and um, allow yourself to just feel that fluidity. And, but also, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the don't waste your time with those that are um, not in your frequency that are not getting your message. Um, you can plant seeds, but don't have no expectations and release and let go of those energies that are not serving you anymore. Because um, as your vibration is raising and you are stepping through and up into these amazing energies, you need to understand that you can't bring everyone with you and you can't make them, uh, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. You know what I mean? It's just not happening. So let, let it go. All right, beautiful Steph. Let me know how that resonates with you. Stacy, my horse beauty, removing any negative energies, holding any negative influences, and bringing in the amazing rune energy to see what beautiful Stacy needs to hear tonight. You're next, Belinda. And I don't see Mona on here. She usually wants to know what number she is. But she's not here tonight. And for beautiful Stacy, I have the rune of Jira, which is all about the harvest. So this is all about reaping what you've sown, babe. Time to collect. Time to allow yourself to eat the apples and the tomatoes and the oranges and all the beautiful things that you've grown and sown. To look at the beautiful flowers and to 
taste of the fruits of what you have done um, and sown and tended to and loved and cared for and allow yourself to get that reciprocation. It's time for it to come back because um, you're so welcome, Steph. And allow yourself to get that reciprocation. Allow yourself to receive those energies that you have expended because you need that replenishment. We need that beautiful wheel, that water wheel of replenishment coming back into our heart space and feel that amazing energy and it's just making me super thirsty. And allow yourself to feel replenished and just refreshed and just absolutely loving the things that you're getting back and opening up and Thank you more, please, feeling that gratitude, because the gratitude that we have in our hearts for the things that we have, the things that we're receiving, and the things that we're going to receive is the fertile ground for those seeds to be planted for future, because as we feel the gratitude, we're sending out the frequency of, yes, thank you more, please, and allowing all the things that we receive to become amazing, powerful gifts. And they will expand and grow. And as we hold that space for expansion, every little thing that you get that you're grateful for will expand and grow. And that frequency will be sent out that you want more of that. Okay, so now we got a stalker. I don't know, maybe... Not sure what that means. Okay, we'll see. We're giving you a chance. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. All right. So, moving forward, we've got beautiful. Let me know how that resonates with you, Stace, because I just feel like there's so much coming back to you right now. Recognize it and let it in. Recognize and let it in. Oh, you're so welcome, beautiful sister. Belinda, remove any negative energies, halt any negative influences, clear the space of any negativity, and anyone that doesn't need to be here, I cast you out. And bring in beautiful healing energy for Belinda. All right, Miss Belinda, and you're getting Gifu which goes right on your heart chakra and it's all about the gift and it's all about harmony and equality and the, the reciprocation of expended energy and allowing yourself to stand in that beautiful heart space and just feel that amazing gift and feel all that gratitude and love in your heart and just feel, let's feel that expansive green energy. I'm calling to the energy of the Merkaba to call down upon all of us this amazing energy of the gift and of love, gratitude, and appreciation. Breathe in love, grace, and forgiveness. And release any negative energies and halt any negative in in influences. And feel the gift and allow yourself to receive the gifts. Allow yourself to be open. There's so many ways that we can get abundance from the universe. Allow yourself to be open to every way possible. Allow yourself to recognize the gifts that come in. Allow yourself to recognize the instant manifestation that you are getting whenever you ask for something and immediately get it, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, know about it, um, get the help you need, get that immediate assistance, get that big huge discount on something that you really needed and wanted. Um, be grateful and thankful for that and allow yourself to recognize it. And that's the gift. The Gifu for um, Belinda, feel the gift, allow your heart to open and just allow that amazing energy to just feel powerful for you. All right, and we have beautiful Faye. And Faye, we send you healing energy to your beautiful little granddaughter. And remove any negative energies, hold any negative influences. And we're calling in the messages that you need to hear tonight. 
Sherry, you're number 10. Alicia's 11. Cat's 12. And I don't know if I'm going to get to Olivia, but we're going to try. I don't, I don't know. All right. Good. I hope that resonates with you. Open your heart. Beautiful Fay, let's see what we got for you tonight. We have Eel the Elk, so we're going to send you that powerful energy of the Elk. Put that right on your solar plexus. Allow that energy to surround you and your family of protection and strength. We're calling in all your spirit guides, ascended masters, angels, archangels to bring you the healing and grace and love that you need and we're bringing you that powerful protection that confidence and strength the truth the beautiful golden orb surrounding and protecting and bringing in that energy of healing and love and strength and right now just allowing you to feel that stability and strength of the triple moon goddess of the beautiful mother earth and of the amazing divine masculine and all coming together for you in a healing space and that beautiful powerful energy and allow yourself to stand in that and just stand in the grace breathe in love grace and forgiveness and breathe out the illusion of separation feel that powerful energy All right, we're going to read for beautiful Sherry. See what's going on with you tonight, darling. Remove any negative energies, hold any negative influences, and bring victory over any enemies. Bring in the information and truth she needs right now. Love my little broom. So much fun. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Let's just play our singing bowl for a second. It's like, let's do this, let's do that, let's have fun. Woo! Feel that amazing energy. Calling in that rune energy for Sherry. Alright, let's see what's going on with you, my darling. Sigil, the sun. There we are. Powerful sun energy. Right now on uh, in the Leo the Lion and uh, Suns in Leo, that powerful sun energy, the amazing power. We're going to put that right there on your solar plexus. Allow yourself to bask in the sun. Allow yourself to step into that energy. Allow yourself to receive all those downloads and all that energy from the lion's gate. That's all those beautiful, light, and amazing, um, powerful downloads that are coming. And just feel that amazing energy of light surrounding you and healing you and bringing you strength and power and being right on your heart space and on your solar plexus and allow that warmth and the energy and that power of the uh, I feel a lot of lion energy there that strength um, and but also there's a lot of nurturing and protection that comes from that energy and there's a lot of powerful acceptance and not necessarily a ton of action has to happen but a slow and steady power of sitting back and just standing in your in the majestic power that you have, like a regalness, a um, basking in the sun kind of energy, not necessarily working hard, because we don't have to work hard for what we get anymore. We're we're we have let go of the harder you work, the more you get, because. It's the divine feminine flow bringing it to us and us accepting and seeing it. That is the, where the power is. So sit in your um, majestic self and allow that sun to just beat down upon you and let it bring the abundance of the universe to you 
and um, just bask in the sunshine. It feels fantastic. Allow yourself to hang there. See what's going on with beautiful Alicia. Halt any negative influences, banish any negative energies. Let's bring your beautiful reading in. Cat, you're next. All right, Alicia, let's see what's going on with you tonight, my dear. Please like and share, tell your friends. I love having the collective energy of you guys within our circle. Um, feeling wonderful tonight. All right, we're missing some of our regulars. And this is Ing, and even though it looks a little different, this is the double X's. And this is just a diamond, because this is, um, I didn't make these runes. These are, um, I bought these, but these are hematite, so I really like the grounding energy. But this is all about Ing, and this is all about divine connection, and this is all about connecting with and asking for um, help, guidance, love, uh, abundance from your spirit guides, angels, archangels, uh, ascended masters. They're all here to help you. And so it's all about connecting in. Let's go ahead and we're going to put that right on our third eye. And we're going to put it right on our crown chakra. And we're going to pull that divine white light energy down. And just allow you to feel that amazing connection. We're going to put that beautiful figure eight. The infinity symbol of cohesiveness and connectivity. And allow yourself to tap into those powerful energies and powerful messages that you're getting. Somebody's throat chakra is really washing you with beautiful, fluid, magical ocean energy. And allow yourself to connect in and um, ask for and receive information, direction, abundance, love, time. And try to stay very mindful and very in the moment because um, happiness is not in another space. Happiness is you, and it comes from you, and it's within you. And when you look for it in other spaces, you're, you're giving it away. So allow it to be in you, and allow it to come from you. And connect in with that divine energy of help and connection. Let me know how that resonates with you. Beautiful cat, moving any negative energies, holding any negative influences. And bringing in information of love and beauty. And we're just going to do a big, huge, removing any negative energy and bringing in all those beautiful pink rose petals all over all of us, all of us within the circle. The bright white light from the Merkaba surrounding us. And rewriting our DNA into love, abundance, unconditional love, lack of judgment. Uh, truth, acceptance, connection. And here's for beautiful cat. What are the runes saying for cat tonight? Ah, sickle the sun. There's another beautiful, powerful lion energy. Step into that light. Allow yourself to feel that power. Allow yourself to feel that energy. That majestic, powerful, strong. But you don't have to be the divine feminine or divine masculine of action, but of just standing in your power and recognizing and knowing who you are and why you're here and feel that powerful energy and allow yourself, I can just feel it right in your heart chakra, and just allow yourself to step into that energy of knowing and loving yourself. And allowing yourself to no longer worry about sharing your truth. And it doesn't have to be a lot of work. It's like I said, it's like just we're like in the rowboat um, floating down the powerful river. And the river's doing all the work and we're just in the boat. And we're floating along and we're receiving all the beautiful energies without having to row amazingly cool so allow yourself to step into that powerful line energy 
All right, Olivia, I'm going to squeeze you in, babe, because you made it at the last minute. You're number 13, lucky 13. Let's see what's going on with you tonight. Hold any negative influences and bring in amazing energies and powerful information. Let's see what's going on for Olivia. These runes are so tiny, sometimes they're hard to... Ah, the cup. There you go, Olivia. The cup is all about secrets and the cauldron and staying um, replenished. So for you tonight, it's telling me that you need to replenish yourself. You are giving, giving, giving and not allowing things. Oh, you're welcome. Not allowing things to come back to you. Allow yourself to drink in the energy. Allow yourself to take a step back. Allow yourself to replenish because there's so much love and energy coming back to you. Allow yourself to feel that grace and love. Allow yourself to get that because that's where your power of manifestation lies in that beautiful cup. Your cup has to be full. Allow it to fill back up. Quit giving it all away because you deserve and are worthy and worth receiving. So open your mind, heart, and soul and allow it to come in. I want you all to feel this amazing, beautiful white light energy just coming down from the Merkaba and rewriting our DNA into worthiness and plenitude and abundance of the universe and allowing ourselves to step into our heart space power and receive these downloads and understand and transmute this information in um, sharing with others and just standing in our power. We are taking our power back. We are powerful, beautiful, amazing, sensual, sexual selves and allowing ourselves to be every bit of that. Let me know how that resonates with you, Olivia. Thank you. Oh, there's their perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to go ahead and open our circle. It's open but never broken. And so we're going to go to the west in the water and the beautiful healing energies of emotion, the beautiful bear energy, the amazing energy of the magical ocean, and uh, Gabriel, the messenger who helps us to receive and understand our messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and to the south and the fire. And this is all about our mental state and our beautiful wolf, who's my powerful totem animal, and the Archangel Michael, and creativity and passion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to the uh, east in the air, and the amazing energy of the Archangel Raphael and our beautiful Hecate. Thank you so much, beautiful stuff. Thank you, thank you for um, the healing of our spirit and to the north and the earth and the powerful, protective and amazing energies of Mother Earth and for grounding us and keeping us connected. And we tap in and connect and grin out and ground into our amazing 13th chakra uh, crystalline energy and bring us that nourishment and nourishing, uh, nurturing energy that we need. And thank you for the, Arch uh, the Archangel Uriel and the powerful earth energy and all the beautiful trees and plants and birds and the flora and fauna that came to our beautiful circle tonight and all your beautiful um, benevolent relatives and everybody who came to get healed tonight. Thank you, thank you for coming to our circle. Blessings and love. Um, have a wonderful weekend. And please check out my page, check out my Blessed Biscuits, um, amazing rune-infused cookies. And if you guys want to check out any of my services, PM me. Thank you. Blessed be.